they were chasing. <laughs> what, you, we were on the wagon pulling in like that. I was shooting and they were chasing. They were running the Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's go help Jim. Let's go help Jim. All right, let's win. Or a horse, you'd never get hurt. Who said anything about being hurt? What happened to Wolf and his gang? We got them in the rocks, I hope. Come on, we better get out of here and get back to town and find out who killed Hogan. Go on. Underly. Let's win. Get away from that gang show out of ten years to my life. Roll me five, will you? I said years. Oh, get out of the window. Well, we all know you didn't kill late, Jim, but who did? I don't know. We're going over to the bank now to see if we can pick up some clues. In the meantime, take care of those horses, will you? And have that wagon loaded. Mary's going to drive it back to mine. When you get it, don't forget to tell Smokey and the boys to clean up that shift. All right, Jim. Good luck. Thanks. They're pretty good cleaners. They clean everything and everybody, those fellas. Uh, well, it's time to win, eh? Huh? What now, Wolf? One more slug of this pants and milk, I'll round up the boys and get going. I just saw him riding away from a busted wagon. Him and his rider. You're crazy. He was killed when the wagon crashed. I'm just telling you what I saw. Are you sure of that, Trigger? Just as sure as I'm seeing you right now. Well, Wolf, looks like Benton's an eel the way he keeps slipping through your fingers. Yeah, he sure does, don't it? All right. If we don't leave this room, we figure out a way to catch that eel. I figured that Hogan's killer left by this window. Look, there's a piece of cloth that proves I'm right. You will? Uh oh, look what I found. Somebody's watching. What time you got it? What difference does it make? You ain't going nowhere. Hush. DG. 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 Dan Gordon. You're right. Kirby stool pigeon. Come on, let's win, huh? That's a plan that'll work all right. One that even Benton won't suspect. What do you think of it, Wolf? No good. We don't have to go looking for Benton. We'll make him come to life. He left the Morgan girl in town here, didn't he? That's right. Took him back after her. Yeah. Wolf's right. She came to town with Benton. She must still be here. Gordon, you keep your eye on Judge Knox's house. She's probably staying with Mrs. Knox. Oh, that will come back all right. She's not the kind to be caught sitting on a murder rap. Now, plant my men around the town. Cover the road coming in. You won't get away this time. Keep your eye on the livery stable. They'll leave their horses there. Now, <sighs> then, Green, Fisk, and Barry over. They're all quick on the draw. Good. Whoa. 
You've got this town covered like a tent. Even he would have a tough time getting out. Oh, Ben Smart, Joe. My. Yeah, he'd have drilled me like a sitter, you know. Better corral that guy. Yeah. You boys stay here and guard this back door. Two, come on in. Oh, pull yourself together, Gordon. Even if Ben got away from Wolf and came back to town, he couldn't prove anything. Maybe so. The fight best fellas to get the fly off from under way there now. They're right oh. where you are. I knew it. What a pitcher! All right, Gordon. Why did you kill Hogan? I had nothing to do with the killing. What are you trying to do, Benton? Prove to the people of this town who killed Hogan. All right, boys, go in the saloon and take care of that gang. And you can't take the law in your own hands like this. No. You've had the law in your hands long enough. Now we're going to take a shot at it. Come on. Get it, Joe. For a long time, nobody in this town has been paying no attention to the law. But tonight, the law is going to pay attention to you and listen hard. Till you're licking with your hands away from your gun. Men, we're going to change this saloon into a courthouse for the time being. And you fellas are going to be the judge and the jury. We're here to find out who killed Lake Hope. We're going to do away with all red tape and get right down to the case. What time is it, Gordon? Is this what you're looking for, Gordon? Oh, yes, that's my watch. I broke the chain and nothing on the desk in there. This watch was found right outside of the bank window where Hogan was killed. Gordon admits it's his. I can tell you a quote, Gordon. I, I didn't know my car. I know you did it. You did it jumping out the window after you killed Red Hogan. Ben got into town. He slept by it. Where is he? In the Panamint Saloon. And he's got Kirby and Gordon in the jam. Go on. I said I didn't shut down. Found this piece of cloth on a nail right outside that window. It matches pretty well. Where was you, Jim? He always was a snake. All right, Gordon, why did you kill Hogan? I said I didn't shut down. Had nothing to do with killing. Come see. Why, this is no trial. He hasn't got a chance. He has more of a chance than Hogan has. Come clean, Gordon. Why did you kill Hogan? Because I'm listening to him. This crowd isn't going to wait here forever. I'll give you just one minute to start talking. Come on, I'll tell you. You've got to see that I... <laughs> Oh, doggone it. Let's go in and mop up that gang right now. Oh, uh, no, you. Tell them there's too many of them. Besides, we got a lot of work to do. We're clear to that murder charge now. Line up, Poncho, and boy, and grab me to the delivery stable. Come on. Come on. 